Hey everyone, so today I will be applying the Law of Attraction to the situation between August Alsina and Jada Pinkett Smith. In the first go around, when I first spoke on th that situation, I was in a different mind frame and also I didn't fully know the experiences that August went through. Okay, so let's give a little backstory. So he has been through Hurricane Katrina. He lives in, he used to live in New Orleans, in like the rough side of town. Also, his stepfather and his father was addicted to crack and they both passed away. His brother was killed in 2010. He was homeless by the age of 17. Um, he has an autoimmune um, disease. I, I don't remember what he said it was, but it's a rare disease that he has. Um, his sister also passed away. That's, that, that's very tragic and traumatic. And through all this pain that he was dealing with, does prescribe medication Percocet he got addicted to that so now since understanding and you know reading about and seeing his story I can better give uh, my opinion on the situation first and foremost Jada she took advantage of that young man and I would always say to you, um, my listeners, my audience, be careful of who you surround yourself with. Be careful of who you allow into your life. Because not everybody who has a pretty face is, is good within. Not everybody who says pretty words, who may have a good message, mean they have the best of intentions um, you know, for you, okay? And I've seen a couple people saying, oh, he's a grown-ass man, um, no sympathy here for him, or whatever like that. I have empathy for his situation because I also had a similar, similar situation. And a lot of people had similar situations so they can empathize with his experience. So sometimes when we go through traumatic experiences in our childhood and in our teen years, sometimes we don't deal with it. Sometimes we don't heal from it. Sometimes people don't even know they have trauma there. So you bring all that trauma and that pain into your adult years. And when you bring all of that into your adult years, you have, you have a broken spirit. You have a hurt spirit. Your spirit is like, you know, experiencing a lot of trauma. And if Miss Jada claims that she was his mentor, his um, coach, or his like, you know, spiritual guide, ain't no way you're supposed to be involved in sex into that. You, you took advantage of somebody who was broken and who was going through a lot of traumatic experiences and could not deal. Okay? So, in my situation, I have said a couple of times that, you know, I have been sexually assaulted as a child and this particular one right this particular guy this person kept trying to come back into my life and at one point when my spirit was going through the process of healing I got the courage to ask why and you know what he said he said, I looked troubled. Wow. 
this was somebody that I respected as a child, somebody I looked up to as a child. And this was your solution to somebody who looked troubled, to someone who looked broken. So that's why I say to you guys, be careful of the people that come into your life because not everybody who says they're for you are for you. From my experiences and from what I see other people experience, my opinion is nine times out of ten, a broken spirit will attract a demonic spirit. It is seldom that you will attract a healing spirit. And I say to my followers or to my audience who has a healing spirit, you also have to be careful of the broken spirits that you are trying to heal. Because if in their mindset they don't see anything wrong and they don't think they have to change, they will attach their spirit onto yours and bring you down and break yours. So you also got to be careful. So that's why I say seldom a broken spirit will attract a healing spirit. Because with the law of attraction, what it dictates, you will attract the energy that you are, are a vibrational match to. So when I look back on my life, right, I can see why certain people was coming, coming into my life because I was a broken spirit. I was traumatized. I had low self-esteem. I didn't have um, self-worth. So I wasn't going to attract someone of quality. I wasn't going to attract someone who has a positive spirit. So if we are saying that Jada and Will has an open marriage and they're free to have sex with who they want, I know a lot of people are not spiritual, but when you have sex with someone, right, that is the joining of spirits. You are connecting psychologically on a spiritual, deeper level with this person. You are joining. That's why they say like when you, when you, when you have sex, you become one. So if you are sleeping with multiple people, imagine the, the spirits that are being consumed in your energy, consumed into your own spirit. You're gonna you're bound to pick up on unclean spirits. And the thing is when you are broken, right? When you are when you when you're when you're um experiencing trauma it is very easy to man you're you're very easy to manipulate because what the demonic spirit sees right they can spot your spirit from a mile they can spot the little light that you have that you don't see in yourself that others may not see in yourself but they can see it in you and what happens is it's very easy for a demonic spirit to attach to a broken spirit because when you see these spirits coming you you cannot recognize what they are you cannot recognize the intentions because see if he was healed if he was whole if he didn't needed um a, a guiding or a healing spirit then he would see certain people for what they are so these spirits attach themselves to you and they sap the little positive energy from your own spirit. They sap the the little goodness, the little um <clears throat> uniqueness to your spirit out of you. They take all of that. 
And while they're taking all of that, you th you're thinking in your mind, this is such a good person. This is such a nice person for helping me out. But you don't even know they're helping themselves to your spirit, to your energy. And while they're helping themselves to you, the little resolves that you have, that's keeping you dependent on them. Because the minute you heal your spirit, you're going to see them for what they are. You're going to see them for what they did to you. So I understand his experience now. And I understand that Jada took advantage of this young man. And other people said, if the roles were reversed, if August was the woman and Jada was the man, We'd be calling for Jada's head all now. And I agree. Because not because somebody is grown mean they're, they're spiritually strong. That, you know, that they're confident in themselves. That they have gotten over their trauma. That they have um, healed from their pain. And some people would see that you're hurting and they will take advantage of you. Because if you're telling me you are are a mentor, you are a guide, you're supposed to you're supposed to be there to help this young man to heal. And you ended up having sex. That that tells me you had bad intentions from the jump. And then it was being said that Will gave his blessings to this, you know, this relationship. Me looking at these two individuals, I never really meshed well with them. My spirit felt off when I, when I look at them and I look at Everything that they do, they say, their actions, they feel off to me. And the thing is, they, they wouldn't feel off to a lot of people. Because I've said this in, um, I think, in my Janet Hubert versus Will Smith video. That the only reason... People would be against Janet, who would be against Monique, is because they went up against black people in the community who are well loved, who are well received, who are the blueprint for success. So if you are the underdog compared to, you know, this successful black person in the community, ain't no way in hell you're going to win. <laughs> ain't no way in hell people are going to believe you. Because... People were believing Oprah or siding with Oprah over Monique because she was well loved, because she was the blueprint. Until Oprah went after beloved black males in the community. And that that is what sunk Oprah's ship. So right now, Will Smith and Jada are beloved figures in our community. So, August versus the Smiths, you know, who you think going to come out on top? Who you think people are going to really believe? Because I think I ran across um, an article by the Daily Mail that Jada is denying the, the affair. Of course, we, we know she's going to deny it. We know she ain't going to admit to it. But looking at the interview with August... You saw that, you know, that had hurt him deeply. <laughs> mm -mm. So I say to you, my friend, and I, I'm going to say it again. Be careful of the people that come into your life. Um, make sure you heal your spirit before you take on somebody new. Because like I tell you, nine times out of ten, what you have attracted is not a healing spirit. It's some 
somebody who's going to take from you. It's somebody who has evil intentions for you. Okay? So I hope that August gets better physically, um, in his health, in his emotions, in his spirit. And I hope anybody who's going through a similar experience, that you find the healing that you need. And I hope that you find the healing from the spiritual realm, from the universe, from God, from whatever you believe in. I hope you find healing. And be careful of the people who say they're coming into your life to help you with your trauma. Unless there are a licensed psychologist, <laughs> really, really be careful of the people who are coming into your life to help you. Because a lot of people got some bad intentions for you, okay? And a lot of people are selfish. A lot of people only think of themselves. So, yes. So you attract what you are vibrational match to so if you know you are vibrating at a low frequency right you know that's the type of people you're going to attract into your life because seldom seldom you're going to attract somebody from a higher frequency okay and when we're talking about frequencies and vibrations i do not mean you know intelligence i don't mean how much money in your bank account that you have vibrations is like you know how does that spirit feel what does that spirit tell you when you connect with somebody's spirit right do your spirit agree with them do they vibrate off of just positive energy or is their energy so negative so dark and it's something you don't really want to spend too much time around. So anyways, this is my little two cents on the matter. And you let me know how you feel about this. And always keep the comments respectful. Because, you know, I only want positive energy in my environment, in my on my channel. And as always, make life fabulous even when it's not. And I'm gone.